as a follow-up to my slightly earlier remarks about Donald Trump and Kamala, Sky has um, done us all a great favour and made a three-minute sort of summary version of the most Im- ridiculous remarks, and as I see it, in in that whole ninety to a hundred minutes debate, let's have a listen, shall we? Kamala Harris, let's have a good debate. Nice to see you. Have fun. Thank you. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating. It truly sounds like the inmates have escaped from the asylum, doesn't it? They're like, you know, you know like your demented uncle, uncle, I don't know, Stephen or something, who, who's age 94 and has issues with them. Um, Sadly, sadly, impaired cognitive abilities. The pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, He told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by... Not that that's going to stop Donald in the slides. Donald doesn't care if it's credible or not. Donald, Donald is the the political equivalent of a carny bar, carnival barker or a carny, as the Americans say, or well, if they still say that, I don't know. But he's only interested in you know amusing the audience and and talking shit. Intelligence, nuance, points, consider the pro- rebuttals. Nah, it's, it's all about the the entertainment. Individuals within the immigrant community. Well, all I've this. seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the. I've people. seen people on television as well, <laughs> Donald. People on television clear... say my dog was taken and used Our for people food. People never lie on telly. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. We hardly make chips anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and the policies way, he means, like he means they have. Chips, I don't say yeah. her because she has no policy. Need to run social media ads? Go to Fiverr.com. Select your service. Choose an expert. See, everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going. What, flip flopping on a political point of view? Never, Donald. You've never done that. Going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. She's a Marxist. Everybody. No, her father was a professor of it. Marx economics, that doesn't even imply he's a Marx in himself any more than, you know, it implies that uh, because I'm a student of English literature <laughs> and a researcher and that, that I agree with the position of everybody I write about. It's a very bizarre contention coming out there for Donald. But Donald, of course, knows if you throw the word Marxist around in, in American politics, it's scare tactics time. People are still, there's still a vibe but that's never really gone away of the McCarthyist era. How do you know she's a Marxist? Her father's a Marxist professor in economics. Her father, is he standing for president? No. And he taught her well. The government, and Donald Trump certainly, should not be telling a woman what to do with her body. I have talked with women around our country. You want to talk about this is what people wanted? Pregnant women who want to carry a pregnancy to term, suffering from a mis... See, I can see how this one could work against Kamala as well especially in the areas of America which are, are relatively rural and have a particularly simplistic point of view often on this sort of stuff. And there's religion plays a far greater role in an American election than it ever does here. Here it's a minor factor usually. At best it's a kind of factor in recent years. I'll be, to be fair, there is some truth in the idea of um, Islamic um, communities voting as block uh, voting, but that's more based on tribalism as much as religion and the idea of all getting behind one guy to boost him. That's a very complicated subject that's not truly just about religion. But in America, evangelical Christianity and stuff around abortion, debate around abortion, means that a Kamala might be offering legitimate and intelligently thought out rebuttals, but it's not always going to be the intelligent rebuttal that wins the day on that one. Carriage being denied care in an emergency room because the health care providers are afraid they might go to jail and she's bleeding out in a car in the parking lot? She didn't want that? Her husband didn't want that? 
A 12 or 13 year old survivor of incest? Being forced to carry a pregnancy to turn? At least these are more possibly realistic scenarios, even if they're hypothetical, than people running around Springfield eating cats and dogs en masse. They don't want that. They have abortion in the ninth month. They even have, and you can look at the governor that, of West Virginia, the, way, the previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job. But the this whole nine-month abortion was shown to be absolutely a lie. But of course, yet again, one it's the, Trump is as much interested in propaganda as truth. Governor, before he said the baby will be born, and we will decide what to do with the baby. In other words, we'll execute the baby, and that's why I did that because that predominates. Because they're radical. The Democrats are radical in that. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. And I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies, because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. That people don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible. The, the, the biggest, always the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies, oh, as ever rallies in the history of politics the most incredible rallies in the history of politics really Donald I could think of many very large rallies in many countries where they're much bigger than any rally uh, that Donald's held that's because people want to take their country back our country is being lost we're a failing nation I did think however that that was kind of a useful summary of the main points of it 